Uh, we have Ashwini here, our CEO for the interview today. Ashwini, uh, meet Jerry. Yeah, meet Jerry. He's our um, uh, account manager. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's get started. Um, tell us briefly why and how Math Street Done was founded. Sure. Um, my co-founders and I were all working in uh, some kind of a lab uh, for a very long time, whether it was a corporate lab or an academic lab um, in the field of AI, in neuroscience. And um, years into that, um, you know, one of the questions that we've been asking ourselves over and over again was how does AI get out of uh, lab mode, right? And into the hands of people in very useful, uh, meaningful, actionable ways, right? And any new technology um, in its early days is kind of like a hammer looking for a nail. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, what really drove me was to try and see the intersection of AI um, with people's lives, right? And so we kind of went on to form Matt Street Den um, with our mission being to make every single person across the globe, across different countries, across different industries, different companies, different walks of lives, to make them AI natives. And uh, that's the part that Matt Street Den has been on since uh, its founding. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, what were the biggest changes in your industry in the past five years? And how have you innovated as of Matt Street? Sure. Um, I think the, you know, five years when we began to now, I would say the biggest change is that there, it can be kind of summarized into two, three things. Um, the first thing is awareness. I think people now actually know what you can do with AI and you're starting to see some very concrete examples of how AI becomes relevant to people in their daily life or across different types of, you know, work. Um, so I think there's definitely a, a much, much bigger kind of and a more um, uh, relevant kind of awareness as opposed to this, you know, thing that's new and innovative, people are slowly starting to see it actually relevant to them. So that's one. Um, the second change has really been around, I would say the noise to signal ratio. Um, in the early days, you know, I, I call it peak AI, you know, uh, for the last five years, there's been so much noise about AI. Um, and, you know, just people, um, discussing pretty extensively across the globe about, you know, how AI is going to come and take away our jobs or like, you know, robots and killer robots. And I think there's been a lot of just noise about the field in the last five uh, to six years. And I would say now that's definitely different, right? Now you're seeing a lot more, you know, much more meaningful stories and, and conversations about AI. So I think that's the second biggest change that's happened. Um, and the third, I think is, uh, companies sitting up as, 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 a, as, a, as a startup that's working with companies across the globe in different types of fields, you know, whether it's retail or healthcare or finance across different industries, you're beginning to see that businesses are sitting up and they're taking note, right? Um, and it's gone from, oh my God, what is AI? What can I do? To let's have a conversation about how AI can change the way, you know, our business can work. And so I would say those are broadly the three biggest changes we've seen in the last five years. And mm -hmm. At Mad Street Den, for us, the most important thing has been actually being there every time somebody was ready to have that conversation, right? Um, and, and helping them understand how AI can be useful for them. How can they grow their business with AI? There's so much changing out there today, um, especially in the middle of this pandemic. I think there's just so much going on. And now more than ever before, I think it's important to be there when people really want to be able to have these conversations and to help them kind of through that change. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, how can the company successfully compete and differentiate itself in comparison to your competitors and within that field and market? Yeah, I think, you know, the way I see it, this is a really, really nascent field, super early days of AI. Um, I would say we're not even, if you look at the trajectory of any industry as crawl, walk, run, I think we have just begun crawling, right? Like barely begun crawling as an industry. And I think the way we see it at Matt Street Den, competition is actually the status quo. We are more worried about people, things staying the same, right? Um, inertia and companies not waiting to innovate. And in a way, I think, you know, coming back to this theme of the pandemic, because it has changed things irreparably, right? There is no going back to life before this pandemic. And I think, you know, um, 
in so many ways, this has just completely hastened the pace of digital innovation and digital transformation. And so for me, the way I look at it, um, competition is just things staying the same. And, and, and the way MSD is really differentiating itself is by, it kind of goes back to the other conversation I was having with you um, about being there for businesses. We, while being, you know, we have patents, uh, we have been, you know, at the bleeding edge of developing AI, whether it's computer vision or NLP related, um, both in an academic sense, but also in a more applied sense. Um, and over the last five years, I would say, you know, two things. One, we have figured out how to take bleeding edge tech and apply it on scale with industries across different, different countries, right? Whether it's the US, Latin America, Europe, Middle East, Asia, we've been working with companies across the globe to kind of scale. And this is a huge problem in AI because a lot of AI can just be shiny. And uh, for us, it's about putting it in the context of problems that every company faces and making it scalable. And I think we have a, you know, other than just a really strong proprietary tech platform um, that is completely patented um, and built bottoms up by our team, um, you know, we've placed an extensive amount of emphasis on customer experience and being there for companies in different countries to help them kind of transition and make this digital transformation. Interesting. Um, what are the biggest opportunities facing the company currently? Mm -hmm. The way Math Street then looks at the future and at our possibilities is across different industries. Um, today, we spend an incredible amount of time with retail with under our brand view.ai. And over here, we've been placing a lot of emphasis on the role of computer vision, NLP, across different workflows and different parts of organizations in the retail industry, right? Whether it's warehousing, merchandising, you know, the website personalization, cross-channel personalization, you know, uh, photography, fashion photography, uh, data extraction and automation in the space of just being able to use data. We've been across different types of functions and teams inside retail, helping them automate all of these functions one little bit at a time, right? And we have kind of grown pretty, pretty aggressively and quickly uh, in the space of retail. And in the coming years, we are looking at scaling that kind of skill set and, and, and that ability to automate using computer vision, using NLP across everything from healthcare, finance, you know, insurance, um, we're already slowly beginning to work with these industries very quietly, very slowly. Um, but between VIEW and our larger platform, um, we really look at our opportunity as getting out there into every industry and helping them make that change. Fantastic. That's very interesting. Um, how did the partnership come about and what is the purpose of, of this partnership between the private office and Map Street 10? Yeah. Um, you know, there are always early adopters and there are people that wait to see whether something works and then there are the, la the laggards, right? Um, literature very commonly known out there across the globe. And, you know, for us, when we found out about um, the C Group and about what the UAE government has been doing in terms of investing in technology, all of a sudden, I think, you know, we started noticing just across in every single field, whether it's clean energy or, you know, AI or, uh, you know, just kind of digital transformation across different industries. We've been watching UAE over and over and over again embrace tech as an early adopter. And this has been something, you know, that, that obviously fascinates us because as a company that's building, building you know, bleeding edge tech that is often way ahead of the market in some time, uh, you know, in, in certain cases. Um, obviously, this partnership was, was very interesting to us. Um, and I know that, you know, from a regional perspective, um, folks at the Seed Group are bringing in brands, companies across the globe into UAE and kind of almost making it a bit, a bit of this tech hub where there's a lot of innovation happening and people across different you know, industries are coming together to have the right conversations and change, right? It feels like a center of change. And when we got to know about this and when we started having conversations about it, it felt like a bit of a no-brainer to us. And, and I, I'd say we are, you know, very excited about the possibilities of, of this partnership and where AI can be meaningfully used um, in different industries by, you know, all of these kind of companies coming together in this hub. Could you tell us what type 
of target clients will benefit from your products? Sure. Um, the View.ai brand at Matt Street Den is all about bringing intelligent retail automation to retailers, mm -hmm. right? And when I say retailers, I mean, you know, in fashion, in grocery, in home goods, in delivery services related um, um, uh, goods, right? Uh, across multiple different categories, View.ai is trying to come in and help these industries automate different types of functions and help different teams inside their organizations use AI as part of their work, right? Um, and from an outcome perspective, what does this really do? What does it do for a, for a fashion brand? Or what, what can something like this do for a grocery or a home brand? And our answer at the end of the, the day is always twofold. On one hand, this is really about growing a business, right? growing revenue per user, growing, helping increase conversions, helping engage more customers. And especially in this world we live in today, so much of the conversation is about growth of the business and retention of the user. And it's about customer experience, right? And AI can do just that. It can help a lot of these companies grow their business, both financially, as well as just in terms of uh, the ability to expand their markets, right? And that's one key advantage of adopting something like this. The second key is actually save of, saving of costs, right? When you automate different types of functions that you're talking about increased productivity, more efficient businesses, and just more data. And, and we emphasize data all the time because the center of the story, every time you say AI, the central thesis of that story is data, right? And we place a lot of importance on creating data, curating data, bringing all of that data and giving it you know, to every single person in each of these retail organizations so that they can make the right decisions at the right time, right? And, and AI can enable that across a variety of functions, and that is what Vue.ai does today. Fantastic. What is your long-term vision for the UAE? I think we're, we're just getting started here. Um, we're in the very, very early stages of this engagement, and I think that's, that's actually really exciting because it, 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 it means there's so many more ways in which we're going to grow. Um, I think our starting point is retail, um, but in the future, we are looking to have conversations about healthcare, about um, um, you know, um, insurance, about fintech, about um, so many adjacent industries, right? And as there's more and more growth in this region, more and more companies participating as part of this hub, I think uh, those conversations in adjacent industries just become that much more exciting. How can retailers use Vue AI? Vue AI is helping retailers make this significant shift from offline to online just as we speak today, right? Um, coming back to the pandemic, people are buying online more and more. And you know, most people would have seen this new graph that was published about e-commerce growth across the globe, right? And it's kind of this, this steep curve that's going up, right? Um, and more and more people are just getting comfortable buying online, um, which means where people are is starting to change. People are not in the same places and buying in the same places they used to. They're starting to buy in very, very different channels. And so the question becomes, are you, the retailer, the brand that you have, is that where your consumers are? And that is a question that Vue.ai is really pushing to answer and, and help a lot of these retailers by saying, we will help you personalize whatever you have, all your offerings, one-on-one, -on -one, to every single customer that comes your way, right? Um, whether it's on your website, on your app, on email, on social media, on push notifications, regardless of the channel, we want to be able to look at very, very specific profiles of each and every person that is coming to you and interacting with your brand, building that profile, and helping you grow, retain, and grow with that customer, right? Um, and that's one part of the story. The second part of the story with Vue.ai completely revolves around automation. We help automate a lot of tasks today, um, things like catalog data, right? So much of catalog data that's being produced, if you have merchandise, you're going to have to create some kind of data around it, right? Because most physical goods need to become digital goods in this online world, right? So we have uh, suites of, of, of entire solutions that basically help create what we call product intelligence, right? Just like we create customer intelligence, we also create product intelligence. You know, is that a white shirt? Does it have polka dots on it? 
How do, how do people describe it? How do people relate to it? So there's entire sets of solutions surrounding creating different types of product intelligence and data and processes that automate what most companies do today in a much more manual or, you know, um, um, with not a lot of emphasis in terms of consistency or accuracy. And then there's the story of photography, especially in the world of fashion. Everybody's out there using, you know, studios to create different types of photographs. We've automated that entire process. We have AI that will generate different types of human models and images of different types of models and different skin types, body types for different races, and automatically have your clothing and your different types of products basically modeled on them, right? At the end of the day, View.ai is this intelligent retail automation suite that is helping retailers automate a range of functions that they do offline today and help them personalize across different channels to deliver exactly the right kind of products to exactly the right kind of customer, no matter where they are. What can we expect to happen in the next six to 12 months following the announcement of the partnership between the private office and uh, Matt Street Town? Yeah. Um, I think we've already started uh, talking to different types of retailers out of the market. And I think the, the question in the next six to 12 months is you're just going to start seeing us um, with the seed team out there um, helping companies really see the value of AI and helping them, helping retailers, different types of retail brands. It doesn't matter whether they're, they're big box offline stores, they're online e-commerce players, regardless of the segment they're in, retailers are going to be able to see a combination of the seed group with Matt Street Den out there, helping them understand all the benefits of AI and how they can actually integrate it within the constraints of, you know, their organization. Um, within the practices of their organization and help different teams get um, AI literate. And, and like I mentioned, going back to the mission of the company, really help their people, their employees, their teams become AI natives.